let us now discuss a very important concept uh, in uh, this classical magnetism that is a small current carrying coil as a magnetic dipole. Now, uh, we know that if uh, we are given with a bar magnet uh, with one side a north pole and another side a south pole, and magnetic lines of forces uh, comes out from the north pole and uh, these uh, completes their closed looping uh, when these enter into the magnet from the side of south pole. So, this will be the configuration of magnetic lines uh, which is basically in existence in the surrounding of a bar magnet. Now, if we just talk about a current carrying coil, say if uh, this is a current carrying coil which carries a current in a clockwise manner seen from one side, then in this situation also here we can see that uh, due to this coil by right hand thumb rule the magnetic induction exists in this direction like what I am drawing here and closed looping uh, of these lines uh, is completed in the outward region in this manner. And you can see the magnetic lines are similar to that of a bar magnet. This side of the coil behaves like a north pole and uh, this side behaves like a south pole. Now, if we consider the similar situation in case of a very small sized uh, bar magnet, or which we can treat uh, as a small magnetic dipole in which the dipole moment exists from south to north, which can be represented by an arrow. In this situation also from north pole magnetic lines originate and uh, these uh, enter into the south pole of uh, this magnetic dipole and the configuration would be like this. As the size of dipole is very small, in this situation we can see the magnetic lines uh, which are uh, coming out and going into the magnetic dipoles uh, are almost very, these two poles are almost very close to each other. Similarly, if the size of coil is reduced to a very a small radii, very small radius, then in this situation, the similar magnetic line of force configuration is developed in the surrounding like this. Here also we can see that the north and south poles of the coil are very small in size and these are adjoining to each other. And if we just have a look on the magnetic lines configuration in the surrounding of this small coil, you can see the two configurations are almost identical. From a far away distance, if we just have a look on a very short magnetic dipole or a very small coil, we cannot differentiate uh, the two just by looking at uh, their magnetic lines configuration. So, we can say when a uh, coil is very small in size, it behaves like a short magnetic dipole. So, all the relations are uh, equally applicable uh, which we have developed for a short dipole. These can be used, these are applicable for a very small coil also. And in case of a coil, its uh, magnetic dipole moment or magnetic moment, we already studied in previous uh, topics that this magnetic moment M can be given as Ia, that is the product of current in the coil uh, multiplied by the area vector, where area vector direction is given by right hand thumb rule by using the direction of current. Now, in this situation, we can write down a small note that. Uh, a very small size current carrying coil behave similar to a magnetic dipole. With its magnetic moment given as the product of current in the coil and the area vector. If there are some turns in the coil, we must multiply it by the number of turns also. 